Hey guys, so today I'm going to be talking to you about the seven new loose eyeshadows that came out for Sugar Pill. So if you guys want to know all about them, just keep watching. Okay, so to start with, yes, um, Amy, my friend uh, that owns Sugar Pill, she sent me these to check out. So I did get them for free. But as you guys know, because I rock Sugar Pill all the time because I think it's amazing, that I wouldn't be talking about them unless I think they're fantastic. And so, to begin with, yes, I did get all of these for free, but I am telling you guys about them because I think they're amazing. Okay, so to start with, I'm going to read them off because I don't have them memorized or anything. So the seven colors that she um, released are Birthday Girl, Magentric. Uh, Paper Doll, Weekender, Tipsy, Darling, and Stella. I did swatches on them. I'm going to show you guys on here, but I'm also going to take pictures and um, put them at the end of this so you could kind of see what they look like because obviously on camera it's not going to look exactly the same. So let me show you each one separately. This is Birthday Girl. This is Magentric. Paper Doll. Weekender. Tipsy, Darling, and Stella. Now, to begin with, these are all vegan and cruelty-free. Each one of these is in a 5-gram jar, so that's how much you're going to get. Each one of these is $12, um, which some people would say is really steep, but that's really good for the amount of product you're going to get. Again, they come in this container. They always have. I really like it. It's just really handy. It's really sturdy, and it doesn't, like screw off very easily so it doesn't fly everywhere which is amazing for me personally with these loose shadows I like to apply them wet some people don't like to do that I prefer to because I think they are amazing wet but um, let me show you guys so I swatched this bottom row right here is with a base it is with um, Too Faced Shadow Insurance the middle one has no base whatsoever this third row has that's all applied wet with just water and I will explain these top two in a little bit so that's what they look like as you can see there's like really not a huge difference between base and no base having a base in general does make a huge difference so I recommend you doing that but these are pretty pigmented enough alone without having a base period so that's pretty awesome Personally, for me, my two top favorites of this are Stella and Darling. I've already used these a couple of times, and I've only had them for a couple of days. I think they're absolutely amazing, especially Stella. Ugh, no. I love these both equally. They're so cool. So let me show you. Um, I think Darling is the most perfect, like, teal it, when it's, like, wet. It's amazing. That's it right there. It's so cool. Now, I'm not sure if you're gonna, it's going to pick this up on camera. So that's it with the base, Stella. That's it without a base. And that's it wet. If you notice, it's not as sparkly as it would be with just the base. But it is m like a really deeper black. Like it's totally ridiculously back black. What I like to do is I like to apply it wet first. Then after I have, before it's completely set, I'll take Stella again and have it dry, then like tap more of it on top. And if you could see it right here, that's like so like true black and sparkly on top, which is amazing. This, I did a layer of Stella and then I put Darling over it. It looks kind of muddy and stuff on camera, but... When I was playing with it and like I was thinking about in mind having just like black over my lid and having Darling in the center over it as a highlight and it just like in my brain it just seemed amazing so that's the only reason why I really did that. I think it's pretty cool but I think you guys should totally play with these loose shadows. I personally like to mix them in my lip gloss. I think it's totally cool or put them over lips as highlight because all of these are like shimmer amazing and fantastic. Alright, so that's pretty much it about the new colors from Sugar Pill. Um, I will put a link in the bottom bar about it. Um, the website is sugarpillshop.com or you could do sugarpill.net and it'll link you to there too. So, yeah. Um, I hope this was helpful to some of you guys and until next time, I will see you guys soon. Bye!